Welcome, my friends. Good to have you with us. This is Henrik Palmgren. We are going to spend our time today talking about the mysterious subject of the Higgs boson particle. Uh, we've been following with interest the activities, or lack of activities, if you will, down at CERN, the Large Hadron Collider, the world's biggest and most expensive physics experiment. We have Holger Beck Nielsen with us from the Niels Bohr Institute in Copenhagen to talk about some of his theories surrounding CERN, the Large Hadron Collider, and the search for the Higgs boson particle, or the God particle as it's also known as. We're also going to talk about why the LHC hasn't been working properly. They seem to run into constant problems getting the LHC up and running. And Holger has a theory about this that we're going to talk more about in detail here today. It involves God within quotation marks. Holger did an interview with the New York Times a while back where he stated that the Large Hadron Collider almost seemed to be sabotaged from the future. Well, why is that? Why are all these problems happening all the time? I also want to say that it might be a bit tricky to follow along in some of the details when it comes to the models and the mathematical concepts that we'll be discussing today. But bear with us as we lay out the picture for you regarding the model that Holger and his researchers are working on. I can also say that uh, Holger is known in physics as one of the founders of string theory. So his theories doesn't come unfounded. He has a lot to say on the issue and I think it's vital to give him, give him a chance to explain his thesis. So stay with us here as we talk about some of the complex but very interesting ideas that involves history, our history, as a variable or as a imaginary part of the action, as Holger states. And again, how does God, within quotation marks, play into all of this? Stay with us as we go deeper into the Higgs boson mystery. Hi, Holger. Thank you for coming on Red Ice Radio. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Yes, thank you. <laughs> now, let us say that the LHC now functions very well and uh, has started up and even made some. Uh, events and uh, has been running well a little before Christmas and will start again in the middle of uh, uh, of February. Uh-huh, all right. And then to do really serious uh, running. So this is obviously what, what everyone is waiting for. And, you know, as, as I mentioned there, we definitely want to examine this more in detail, some of your theories and so forth. Maybe you just can give us a little bit of background first here for our listeners um, about... Niels Bohr and the work that you guys do down at the Niels Bohr Institute, if, if you will. Oh, at the Niels Bohr Institute, we have groups working at, at uh, some of the experiments being done at um, the LHC. That's not me, that's the experimentalists. Uh, we have experimentalists who really do the experiment, and, um, and they uh, work at the uh, uh, the intersections of the beam. This uh, big accelerator there is a 27 kilometer ring where the particles run around, uh, some the one way and some the other way. And this is protons or it can be heavy ions. And then at some intersection places, they are organized to uh, the, the, the beam going the one way and the beam going the other way are organized to collide. Mm -hmm. And uh, this around these places where it is organized, one has built up some big instruments to measure what comes out when the particles collide and perhaps interesting particles will come out, such as the Higgs particle we are looking for and uh, uh, perhaps other particles. Absolutely. And maybe you can uh, mention to us a little bit about the Higgs boson, or, or in some uh, uh, circles it's known as the God particle. W what is this? Yeah, one calls it the God particle. Yeah. <laughs> but the Higgs particle is really a, a particle in the so-called standard model, which is the best model so far. And in this model... Mm, there is a funny feature that if you didn't have this Higgs particle, then all the other particles in the standard model, the best model for the present time, mm, would be massless. So they, in, in the sense that they would have no rest mass, which really means that they would move all the time with the speed of light, three times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Mm. 
Mm. So they would always move this way if it was not for the Higgs particle. So the Higgs particle is a needed extra uh, thing in the model in order to give them the masses which we actually have measured so they are known. And therefore the Higgs particle is known in order that the physics should be uh, like it, uh, it seems to be. Or else something else than the Higgs particle has to take over the job of the Higgs particle and do this job instead. Uh, what, is, what is your point of view in terms of the standard model then? Do you guys have another uh, theory or, or do you go along with this the standard model? Oh, there are many theories on the market. Uh, especially, for instance, super string theory uh, versions. Um, and uh, they are usually some extension of the standard model. So, uh, they, for instance, if you have the super string type of theory, then you will typically expect uh, that you have, in a sense, rather five Higgses than one Higgs. Mm. You, you have more Higgs particles predicted to come. But you have, so you don't really have the Higgs, but you have uh, some several Higgses, and one of them more or less looks like the Higgs. So it's very close in that sense. Ah. Uh, and, uh, but there's also a type of model called Technicolor models, in which you make, roughly speaking, the Higgs particle be replaced by a bound state of some, then in this uh, Technicolor model, existing particles. And these uh, bound states uh, can then explain more naturally that this Higgs particle, or Higgs, in this case, Higgs particle replacement has a, a, a surprisingly small mass or has a mass that is uh, in, that is small in spite of the fact that it is very difficult in the technical calculation to keep the Higgs mass small because you tend, when you calculate corrections to the Higgs mass, to get big contributions and then it is a pr big compared to what, you, what, what the mass is. So mm. you expect it's very surprising that the Higgs particle is so light because it's even difficult to keep it light as you go along in the calculation. Hmm. So, to me, when I'm, when I'm listening to this, this almost sounds to me that something is obviously, uh, you know, there's a big puzzle piece here missing for in order for our understanding of, of the universe to come together. So something is missing, and we're still looking for the evidence which, which is going to confirm our model of the universe. Now, do you think that we could be totally wrong? Could there be something else going on here? Uh, no, Holger? I think it is a very natural thought that this standard model is not the final model. There are actually several reasons for that. And, uh, and uh, I think most uh, people, most physicists, expect that the standard model will show wrong already at the LHC. Yeah. I am probably a bit special by expecting that the standard model will turn out right over the LHC, so that LHC will confirm the standard model, and the standard model first will turn out wrong at much, much higher energies, which are so expensive to build accelerators for that we don't even care to send in applications. So uh, tell us a bit about some of the, the, uh, the, the claims that, that you've made and so forth as well. That, that There's something that seems to be going on in terms of the uh, efficiency, shall we say, of the Large Hadron Collider. It's not working properly. It's been stopped so many times now. What do you yeah. think is going on here? Yeah, that's right. I mean, one, uh, one can say that at least there was uh, uh, an accident uh, uh, last year... Uh, not no in in nineteen in twenty o eight in September, just when it was about to start, and one had uh, the next month's uh, inauguration of the machine, then it occurred uh, an, an explosion an, an incident 
that made it stop for more than a year. Yes. 